gonna talk about some things not to do when starting a business. So I'm gonna give you five things that you should definitely not do when you're starting a business. And I can promise you if you adopt these mindsets, this will help you be more successful in business. Now, we are out here on the football field. So the first thing I wanna talk about is don't hesitate to get in the game. Here's the biggest thing that I see most people starting. They're saying, you know what? I'm gonna get started when I have X, Y, Z. Put any excuse here. But I can promise you, no matter who you are, no matter who's watching this, no matter what your condition, circumstances, background, race, religion, whatever you have the excuses why you can't get started, I promise you there's somebody out who, there who's already beaten your excuse. So that's huge to remember. Just get started. I remember we did a podcast a while back where we had a whole episode where we were talking about the key to life is to just play the game. The game is meant to be played because the things that you'll learn from that is what's really gonna make you successful. Which leads me right into my second thing, which never, never to do when starting a business. And that's be concerned with failure. Now, you may think failure is the absolute worst thing you could go through right now. Maybe a business crashes and burns. Maybe you lose a lot of money. Maybe people laugh at you or you feel humiliated. Whatever it is, you may feel like that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. But there's an old rap saying, which was a loss and a loss, it's a lesson. Now, while it may seem like just a Simple lyric, it actually is a very profound statement when you think about what it's implying, is that every loss teaches you something. There's a great book called An Iron Wheel. It's my favorite book of all time. And I remember in the end, they asked, they asked this guy, they said, if you had to do it all over again, you had to wipe a portion of your life out, what would you wipe out? Would he say, would you wipe out your failures? He said, no, because my failures are the very things that I profited from, those lessons. He said, if I had to wipe out anything, it would be my successful successes because I needed every failure in order to be successful so I could learn how to go further. So remember, don't look at failure as anything. Failure is nothing but a lesson to learn. And the more that you learn those lessons, the more that you take those lessons and you build on those lessons, the more successful you're going to be. Which brings me to my next point. Don't be scared to invest money. Yeah, I know it. I've been that person before. You know, I don't want to spend any money on anything. Every time I'm looking at something, like, I don't want to spend my money. How do I know if it'll go right or wrong? But I can tell you, the quickest way to be successful is to pay. I had a good friend of mine. He was talking about how he had learned all his skills, how he got everything that he was doing in business. And he said that, you know, when I got to a brick wall and I know what to do, I was willing to pay. When I didn't know anything about business, you know what I did? I didn't just think and try to luckily get there. I went and bought a book that could teach me something. I went and got around people. I was willing to put the money into the business in order to make myself more successful. And if you're not willing to pay, and, and I'll say this, because you're watching this course, at least you're a person who's willing to pay. So you've already got the right mindset, but be willing to invest in your business. Look, if you have to spend savings and stuff like that, be willing to invest in your business because it's going to be the thing that gives you back tenfold once you understand exactly how to do it. The next thing that I wanna bring in, the next point I wanna talk about is collaboration. Don't try to do this shit all alone. Most people and entrepreneurs, they get this thing in their head that they can do it all alone. And I'll tell you, the quickest way to be successful is to collaborate with other people. I said this before in a video on YouTube, but I'm gonna say it here again, and that's people accelerate progress. Let me say it one more time, people accelerate progress. I remember back in 2013, when I got in my head that I was going to be an entrepreneur by myself for the first time, I remember thinking that, you know, I'm just going to do this shit all on my own. And this was a year where I had no friends, no contact with the outside world or anything like that. Now, I'll be honest with you, I did learn a lot in that time, but though I had a lot of knowledge, I didn't have a lot of success out in the, out in the real world. So, I had a bunch of knowledge, a bunch of shit I could recite to you, a bunch of books I could quote, a bunch of things I could say to you that were impressive if you ever met me, if you would have ever met me, but I wasn't out there in the world actually doing the business of business and creating something. But when I collaborated with other people, guess what happened? My business accelerated rapidly. And that's the thing I want you to take from this, that don't try to do this all alone. Go out there, get in groups, join network, do all the stuff that you need to be successful. Don't be scared to meet people. Sometimes, and I'll say this, this is another huge thing. Sometimes you're gonna have to go through people who are bullshit in order to find the people who are gonna help you be successful. And one thing I'll say about this is, once you find the winning team, you're gonna see it's gonna accelerate your progress so much that you're gonna be like, oh my God, I'm glad I took the time to get out there and meet the right people. Which brings me 
to my last point. Now at this point, I want to preface it with a couple of things. So we talked about some good things here, but this last point that I want to bring is, okay, I want you to understand that you have to take massive action. Here's the thing when I'm talking about taking massive action. You may think when I say massive action, I'm talking about that you work a lot. Like maybe you do 20 hours, you do 10 hours, you do 40 hour, 50, 60, 100 hour weeks or something like that. But I'll be honest with you, that's not actually massive action. Massive action is doing the scary shit that's going to push you forward. In life, there's always two actions we can take. Usually there's an action that's comfortable, which is a comfortable thing to take. For example, we're filming a video right now. I could have definitely filmed this video. It's cold as shit out here right now. I definitely could have filmed this video in the house and save a lot of discomfort, right? But what would have been the most, mo most engaging video for you? What would have been more engaging? For you to be out here on the football field, knowing that you need to get in the game? Or I could just sat my ass at home and tried to do this the easy way. And this is the type of stuff that creates impact in people's lives to make people want to follow you. This is the type of stuff that make people say, that is a person I need to talk to because they're taking scary actions. For example, in life, if you've got this business connection you need to make and you need to be assertive and go after that connection, that's the connection that could get you to where you want to be. But if you're comfortable, what do you think is going to happen? I bring up this last point because this is going to be one of the biggest factors, one of the biggest what not to do's in the entire course. I promise you all of the success that you want is hiding behind this, right? Fear of rejection, take massive action. Fear of failure, take massive action. Fear that you won't have enough resources, take massive action. This is the thing that inspires people. This is the single most important thing to success that I've seen when it comes to my own success, my friend's success, and everybody I can think of is that they took massive action. And I'm saying this to you, coming to you, I'm looking at you right now and telling you this because I promise you if, you, if there's anything that you need to learn or take from this course, all this information will be nothing unless you take massive action. So the biggest what not to do is don't just take information, sit on it, and not apply it. Go out there, take massive action, and just get in the game. Enjoy.